Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are just looking at my screen, which has an iMovie trailer on it. And I want everybody to just look and see on the right side what what can you see and um, read through it a little bit. I've made part of an iMovie. Have you? Trailer. Oh, did you start an iMovie trailer? Good. Um, you can really do anything you want and just change the words and it'll turn out great because the way uh, iMovie does it is it it automatically does all the music for you and it has these cool transition titles and yeah. so it is a lot of fun. I love doing iMovie trailers. In fact, one of my favorite things to do an iMovie trailer with is to do a state report and so we might do one of those later on in the school year. All right, I'm going to let some more people in. We've got a couple minutes that we're waiting. But if anybody else wants to share something about what they've done in iMovie, I'd love to hear about it. I just want, I just want to say hi. Um, and I'm really excited to learn how to use iMovie. I had never done it before. Awesome. Okay, well, I'm going to be teaching some basics as well as some more advanced things, too. I love iMovie. I would say that, you know, Pic Collage is probably my favorite app in terms of making graphics, but iMovie is definitely my favorite video app. And before we get started, let me talk a little bit about iMovie. Um, iMovie is an Apple app. So it comes with any iPad or iPhone, and it's free, and it's, it's actually very powerful for a free app. And I love using it both for school things and my own personal things. And so I wanted to encourage everybody to perhaps take some video with your iPads this uh, vacation, this Thanksgiving vacation that's coming up. Maybe take some pictures, take some videos, and we're going to, and I'm going to show you how you can make either an iMovie or a trailer, because they're both super fun. And if we have time at the end, I'm going to show you a really cool effect using something green. It's kind of like a green screen effect. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make an iMovie. And then after that, I'm going to show you how to make this fabulous iMovie trailer. And so first, I'm just going to show you some basic skills for iMovie. All right. Hopefully everybody can see my screen. And iMovie looks like this. It's purple with a silver star. Okay, I'm going to tap on iMovie. And I am in my trailer, so I'm going to go up to the top left and press Done. And then go back here to Projects. And this is what you should get when you first open up iMovie. You can see that I have made two projects here our great family vacation, and then the green screen game. So I will show you this one at the end. When you want to start a new project, you press the plus. Now we have two choices, either movie or trailer. So first, I'm just going to show you how to do a movie. You can do a lot of things with an iMovie. The first screen is pretty complicated. It has all this stuff on here. It has all these things here. So I'm just going to tell you to ignore all this stuff and to just go right down to the bottom here where it says create movie. So don't worry about anything else. You're just going to start a movie. Okay, so here we are. We've got our blank movie canvas. And up on the top, this is the viewing screen where you'll be watching things. Over on the right is where you're going to be getting your media from. You see you've got video, you've got photos. Down here, you've got audio. We'll be talking about that as well. I want to point out that there's a microphone over here. 
And this area down here is the timeline for your movie. And this line right here is what is going to be playing. So they call that a playhead. This is your play button. Okay, so I don't have anything right now. So I'm going to go get a couple of videos. So I'm going to go up to the top right for video. And I have many different categories here. Don't worry about anything else. You can just press all. I'm going to get all the videos that I have. So you can scroll up and down and see what videos you have. And we went on a family vacation two years ago, and it was totally awesome. And so I'm going to um, put a couple of clips, of uh, video clips, together from our family vacation. So I'm going to tap on the one I want. See how it gets the yellow square around it? And then it's got a plus and a play. So if I'm not sure if I want that or not, I can play it right there and it'll play for me. Okay, and it, so let's say I do want it, then I'm going to press the plus. Okay, so I, I can drag it back and forth. And now I'm gonna press this play button so here I am with my family. We're at the top of a waterfall. It was so cool. Okay, now I'm going to get another video. I'm going to get this one of my kids at the bottom of the waterfall. So I'm going to tap on it. And I can watch it if I want. Okay, that looks awesome. So I'm going to press plus and I'm going to put it in there. Now, let's say I wanted this one to go after this one. So I can just tap on it so that it gets the yellow box around it and I can move it. Oh, it's a little bit tricky, but you can just drag it over to the other side so that, there it goes. So you can always switch positions of your videos or photos. Okay, so I've got my you know, I wish you guys could hear this, but I think if I turn this up, I'm going to get feedback. Am I? Can you hear that? We're just saying happy Thanksgiving anyway, because <laughs> it was two years ago Thanksgiving. Okay, I better turn it down or else I'm going to get this echo. Okay, there we go. Okay, so basically what did I do? I just put two videos together. And now, and you see that in the middle is something called a transition. And you can do a really fancy transition by going to the star. See that star right here? And the star means that it's part of a theme. So here's a trick. There's a gear up in the top and you can choose a theme. So these things right here are the different themes. And all a theme is, is a different transition style. So they've got modern, bright, playful. I'll choose playful so that you can see what I'm talking about. So I'm just gonna tap back on my, I'm gonna play my project and watch for the star. Did you see that transition? Let me do that again. Oh, I don't think it, there it is. Okay, good. So that's transitions in between the two video clips. Okay, now I'm going to show you, let's say you didn't want the whole video clip. So you can tap on it and then down at the bottom are scissors. And right above the scissors, it says split. So I just split my video and then if I wanted to I can press the garbage right here and delete it because let's say I didn't want to do that there's an undo button okay phew let's undo the split okay how do I cut the piece so there's actually different ways you can do this when I tap on a on a video clip you see that yellow square you can make it smaller by just dragging that yellow square in. If you just wanted to cut off 
the, the beginning or the end. But if you wanted to cut it from the middle, then you put the playhead, this line, where you want to cut it. Okay, then you tap on it so that you see the yellow square. Your scissors are selected where it says actions and then the word split. And so I just split it apart. And let's say I wanted to delete this one. You have to make sure your yellow square is around the part that you want to delete. Now I can press the garbage can and I can delete that part. So now when I play the whole thing, it just shows that. All right. So that's basically how to make an iMovie. You put things together and you split them apart. And you guys can just keep adding things for as long as you want. And you can split off either the end or the beginning of a clip or right in the middle. Okay, let's say you wanted to put a picture on there. I'm going to go up to the top middle where it says video. I'm going to keep going back to where it says media. And this time I'm going to go to photos. And then all. And let's find a good photo. I think I have this good one of us. Okay, so again, when you tap on the photo, you press the plus. Now, I'm, I want this to be in the beginning, so I've, I have my playhead right in the beginning. So then my photo's going to go in the beginning. All right. I'm going to show you one more thing. If you tap on the photo, see this T right there? It says Titles. You can choose a title. Let's do this one. And if you tap and delete, then you can type your own title. I'm going to say Happy Thanksgiving because that's what it is. <laughs> okay. Remember when you're doing titles to always capitalize each, word, each important word of a title. Okay, so now when I pull it back and I'm going to press play, now we've got a title. Okay, let's say that picture is taking way too long. Okay, I'm going to go back to my scissors and um, see the yellow square. I can just drag the edge of the yellow square to make it a little bit shorter. Because it's not letting me type. Well, you should be able to tap right here, right on the title. Can you do that? Right here it says Ken Burns effect. The Ken Burns effect means the, the picture is kind of moving around. So if you press on the beginning, this is where you want your picture to start. And then this arrow is where the picture is going to end. So let's zoom in for the end. Okay, so now when I play it, it's going to zoom in. So that's pretty cool. All right, so that's the basics of iMovie. And now I'm going to show you our big project, which is an iMovie trailer. So I'm going to press done up in the corner and go back to my projects. And I'm going to start a new iMovie trailer. No, I'm not. First, I'm going to show you what it is that I'm going to make. So I'm going to tap on this, and I'm going to press play.
mm-hmm. like soundtracks. How do you do that? Because my friends do it, and I don't know how to do that. Okay, that's a great question. Let me go back to my movie that I just made here, and I'll show you how to do that. So I'm going to press edit. Yeah, you're right. I should have done that. Okay, see, this is audio right down here. See that? And I like to go to soundtracks. They have amazing soundtracks. And you can choose. They have different categories. Let's do one. Um, let's do this one. So it has to download really quick. And then you can press the plus. And then that's how you add the sound. I'm not going to play the sound though. Okay, can you that share help? the iMovies? What? Can you share the iMovie? You absolutely can share. I'm going to press done. So when you're done, if you want to share on this screen, you go to the square with the arrow right in the middle there. And then you can save your video and it will save it to your camera roll. And I would choose maybe 720 because you don't want it to be too big because you don't have a lot of room on your iPad. Okay, then it ex it's exporting to my camera roll now, to my photo library. And then you can upload that to Seesaw or share it with, with people. Okay, let's get back to the iMovie trailer. I'm going to press my plus, and I have a choice. And this time, I'm going to choose trailer. Now, there are many different trailer themes to choose from down in the bottom. And what are you choosing? You are choosing basically the music and then the theme of the transition. So let me just play this one, and you won't be able to hear the theme. This is kind That's of the little favorite. intro. Is that? So the video that you're seeing is video that, that somebody else made. So you won't be using these same videos. What you want to choose is you want to choose the music and then those the titles in between the video clips. So you can go through and listen to the different ones and just choose based on the music is what I usually do. So I'm going to go to the one that I chose, which is called Swashbuckler. And then after I find the one I want, then up at the top this time, it says create. A lot of people don't know what to do after this. And this is the tricky thing is you have to look up at the corner for create. That's how you get started. Okay. At the top, there are two things. There is outline and storyboard. You don't have to do anything on the outline, but you might want to give your movie a title and you might want to change this little studio name and logo. So I'm going to put I'm going to do my title. What's my title again? Our Great Family Vacation. So there are two boxes. So I'm just tapping in the different box and deleting because see how this box is a bigger font. Family Vacation. Okay, and it's a title, so I want to make sure I capitalize each word. And then here, I just changed it to say Link 12 Films. And then this, it the logo style is, you can try out which one you like. They have different little intro videos. I like this one called Trees, so I'm going to pick that. And then all this other stuff, you can just leave that. You don't have to waste your time changing all those things. Okay, so that's basically it for the outline. There's not much there. The main event is here at the storyboard. 
Okay, so what do we have? We have these blue lines that have all the words, which you are going to be changing. And then we have these gray squares where you can either put a picture or a video. It doesn't matter. You can choose picture or video. And I'm going to scroll down. There are a lot to fill in. And so my advice is to either repeat different photos or to put different sections of the same video. So you don't have to have all these different things in there. You can kind of repeat or do the same thing. Now people like to eat, sometimes you have the story and you want to do all of the writing at once, or sometimes you have the pictures and the videos and you want to put those in first and then do the writing last. It kind of depends on what you have and how you want to do it. I kind of like to just go through and do the do it as I go. So my first writing is fine. I need to go over, so I've tapped on this very first square and I'm going to go over here. It's already chosen video. Let's see, how do you switch it to photo? Oh, leave it down at the bottom. See video, photo, or you can take a camera, take a picture. Okay, so I'm going to choose some video and I'm just going to go to all. And I'm going to get that one with my son standing at the lake. Okay, and you can move the yellow square and you can play it to get exactly the part you want. So I'm going to move it over where I see him turning around, right there. Okay, now I'm going to press the plus. And it's going to go in there. And then for this next square, I want to find something where the waves are crashing. No, that doesn't have waves crashing. Maybe at the end. Let's see. One where it does. There we go. Okay, waves crashing. So I'm going to press plus. And then I'm going to also do some more waves crashing. So see how it, it gets this orange line goes on the part that I've used already. Do you see the orange line right here? The orange line. So that means that that's what I've used already. Okay, now I'm going to type. What am I going to type? I'm going to type on a lake. On a, and it's like a title. So I'm going to do everything as if it were a title. So I'm going to capitalize the important words. So, uh, so lake is important. Uh is not important. Okay. Now I'm going to tap back up to the top and I'm going to press this play button right there to see how it is so far. Okay. I've got my little intro video. Okay, and then it'll go into my sun and the waves crashing and it says on a lake. Boom. Okay, good. All right, now I'm going to continue and I'm going to say there was a cabin in the woods. There was a cabin is important, so I'm going to capitalize it. And woods is important, so I'm going to capitalize it. Okay, now I'm going to find, now I'm going to tap on the square and I'm going to find the one with our cabin that we stayed in right there. Isn't that cool, everybody? This is the coolest place we ever went. Okay, and then I'm going to move my yellow square so that it's right next to the orange. All right, and I'm going to keep going. After I do my cabin in the woods, I'm going to say one family. That's us. I'm going to capitalize family. And now, do you see how it says three minutes? Where's my pointer guy? Right here. Three minutes or three seconds, I should say. So that's kind of a longer video. See, these other ones are 0 0.9, 0 0.9, 2.1 is longer. So you can see how some of them are longer and some of them are shorter. So that could help you 
figure out what videos you want to use. All right, so now I'm going to show our, see how long that one is? Okay, now we're all saying Happy Thanksgiving. So I'm going to put that in there. Okay, and then I'm going to say one family goes on an adventure because we did a lot of hiking and it was very adventurous. And I'm going to capitalize adventure because that's an important word. Okay, now where are we going? We are going to go to the bottom of the waterfall now. So I'm just going to pick kind of random sections of the video because it doesn't really matter. You don't have to get the perfect shot. You can just put um, whatever you have and it'll be good enough. Okay, we're going to go on an adventure and the next thing is through the woods because we did a lot of walking in the woods and it had just snowed so it was so beautiful. So I'm going to find the pictures of where we're walking. Let's do this one. And I'm just going to pick a random one over there and another random one over there. So it doesn't really matter and it'll still look really cool. So we went through the woods. We went over a bridge because there was a cool river. So I just tap on the square. I find my video of the bridge. Here it is. Ooh, these are very tiny. And I'm just choosing three random pictures. I'm not even going to check. Okay. And then our destination was to see an amazing waterfall. An amazing And it was an amazing waterfall. It was so amazing, I'm going to put an exclamation mark. Okay, now I have a lot of video here. So I'm going, whoops, what happened? Let's find, this is part of the waterfall. Just the iMovie, it's kind of strange because, like, the trailers look like that they're longer than the movie. Yeah, that is an interesting observation. It seems like it's longer than the movie, but it turns out to be very quick. And it just plays really quickly and then it's over. Okay, and my final my final three videos, I'm going to have the waves crashing. Just to give it some dramatic effect at the end. And then the very last thing is already filled in for me because that's the title, Our Great Family Vacation. So it already filled that in for me. So that was good. Okay, let's see what we got. So I'm going to go back to the top. I'm going to tap up here. Uh-oh, what's going on? Okay, it's flashing for some reason. Okay, now I'm going to play it. And let's watch it. So it's kind of laggy, but let's see if it plays. So there's my son looking at the lake, the waves on a lake. So this is Lake Superior. There was a cabin in the woods. And there's our cool cabin that we got to stay in. One family, here we are, goes on an adventure. Through the woods. Over a bridge. To see an amazing waterfall. There were a bunch of different waterfalls that we saw. It was so cool. And then it ends with the waves crashing, our family, our great family vacation.
be perfect. So see how quick that was? That took me about 10, 15 minutes. Now I had done it before, so I kind of knew what I wanted, but it did only take me about 20 minutes, a half an hour to figure this all out from the very beginning. So it really doesn't take that long. Once you've got your idea and you've got all your videos and photos, you can kind of quickly put it together. If you make a mistake anywhere, you can always press the garbage can. See that? And then choose something else. So you can't really do anything wrong because you can always fix it later. Where's the cabin? Here it is. All right, are there any questions? Okay, we have about 15 minutes left, so I'm going to quick show you the green screen one. First, let me play for you the video of what it's going to be. Okay, so this is called the green screen guessing game, and this is my terrible desk. So I'm wiping my desk with a green washcloth, and what is behind there? Anybody ever see that before? All right, I'm going to show you how to make that. So I'm going to go to iMovie. I'm going to press plus. I'm going to choose movie. And I'm just going to ignore all this stuff. And I'm going to go down here to create movie. OK, so here I am starting from scratch. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a photo, the photo that's going to be behind. Okay, so I'm going to press all and I'm going to find that photo of the cherry. Here it is. This is the spoon with the cherry at the sculpture garden in Minneapolis. So maybe one day in the summertime you guys can go there and see it. That's a famous landmark from down in Minneapolis. So now what am I going to do? So now I have to make a video of my washcloth my green washcloth because that's all I could find that I had that was green in the house. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my camera. Okay, let's see. What about like a green piece of paper? Yes, you can use anything green. Here's my table with my washcloth. Okay, so now I'm going to change it to video. Okay, and I'm going to get I'm going to move my washcloth off and I'm going to take a short video. So I'm just going to press record and I'm going to just wipe with my washcloth and then I'm going to open it up and zoom in. So I'm going to ah, straighten it out and then I'm just going to bring my iPad forward and press stop. Okay. Okay, so... I just made that video. Now I'm going to go back to iMovie and I'm going to go back up to the top middle where it says photos. I'm going to go back, go back, and now I'm going to get that video. Okay, so now I'm going to press that so that the it's selected, but instead of pressing plus, I'm going to press the three dots. This is the secret three dots and I'm gonna press green blue screen so I guess you could do this with something blue as well it doesn't even have to be green and because I press that green blue blue screen see whoops 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 see how it went on the top it went on top of the photo isn't that weird so this video went on top of the photo. Okay, now I'm going to play it. And nothing is happening. Okay, so I'm going to stop. And I'm going to tap on the video so that it has the yellow square around it. And then it says up at the top, it says, tap a color to make it transparent. So I'm just going to take my finger and I'm going to tap right here on the color. So I guess you could do any color. Oh, look at that. Isn't that so cool? I think that is so cool. Okay, 
Now when I play it, so you can have people guess what it is, something like that. Oh, my video cut off. Why did my video cut off? Oh well, anyway. So that's really cool. So if you had a longer video, you could make, oh, because my picture wasn't long enough, that's why. So when I make my picture longer, it's the whole thing. And then I zoom in. Let's make my picture, yeah, so that the end. So you could do this with, um, with a lot of things. You can, you can put a picture of something, you can have something green on top, and you can give Four. clues, and you can ask people if they can guess what it is. Okay, now I'm going to do my audio. So I was talking during this video, so I want to get rid of the, that talking. So I'm going to go to volume down at the bottom, and I'm going to go to zero. So I'm turning off the talking that I was doing during this video, and I'm going to add some talking using the microphone. So that's kind of like narration. Okay, so I tap on the microphone. I'm going to press the record button. It's going to go three, two, one. I'm going to talk, and then I'm going to press stop. So here I go. Three, two, one. Do you know where this place is in Minneapolis? It's famous. You should go there. It's the spoon with the cherry in Minneapolis. Okay, now I press stop, and I'm going to press accept. And it went right down here, so this is my narration. Okay, so then when I play it, you guys can't hear that. Let me turn it up. In Minneapolis. Can you hear that? It's famous. You should go there. A little bit. It's the spoon with the cherry in Minneapolis. Okay, anyway, so that is super fun. And then you press done. And then you can press the square with the arrow. You can give it a name if you want or just save the video. And then it is exporting to your camera roll. All right. So those were three different things that I showed you. I showed you a regular movie. I showed you an iMovie tra trailer and something using the green screen effect, which I think is really cool. I think we should all go. I think that's been enough. You guys have been awesome. And thank you for coming and have a great Thanksgiving and we will see you after the break.